Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Mailbox Cleanup Tool allows you to control the size of your mailbox, find items older than a certain date, archive items, view the size of your deleted items folder, clean up conversations, and empty your deleted items folder. This is a useful tool if you receive a lot of email and want to keep it organized. The Mailbox Cleanup Tool allows you control over the size of messages stored on your computer or exchange server. When you start to reach your storage limit on an exchange server, you may get warning emails or notifications from your server administrator. If you reach or exceed your allotted storage size, some functionality of Outlook may not work properly. For example, if you have a 1 GB limit on storage, you may not be able to send new email if you reach or exceed the limit. Utilizing the Mailbox Cleanup Tool can help alleviate storage issues and keep your messages stored in a logical and efficient manner. To set the basic settings for Mailbox Cleanup, click the Mail button in the navigation bar to open the Mail folder. Click the File tab to open the Backstage view. Click the Cleanup Tools drop-down to the left of the Mailbox Cleanup label at the right side of the Backstage view. From the pop-up menu that appears, click Mailbox Cleanup. This will open the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box. From here, you will be able to adjust settings and perform actions pertaining to Mailbox Cleanup. The first section contains a View Mailbox Size button. Click this button to open a pop-up window that will display your current local data and server data usage. This breaks down all items contained in your local storage or server storage. You can click the close button to close the pop-up and return to the mailbox cleanup dialog box. To find items older than a specified number of days or larger than a specified number of kilobytes, choose one of the option buttons for find items older than or find items larger than. Set the days or kilobytes parameters by using the spinner arrows in the boxes or by typing directly into the boxes. Click the Find button to the right of the search parameters to enact the search with the criteria you selected. A Messages Advanced Advanced Find dialog box will open and display any matching Outlook items at the bottom of the dialog box. You can close the Advanced Find dialog box when you're finished using it by clicking the X button in its upper right corner. If you use the Advanced Find dialog box, then click the Cleanup Tools drop-down to the left of the Mailbox Cleanup label at the right side of the Backstage view, and from the pop-up menu that appears, click Mailbox Cleanup to open the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box again. Clicking the Auto Archive button in this dialog box will run Auto Archive and Archive All Outlook items using your Auto Archive settings. Review Lesson 12.2 Setting Auto Archiving for Folders to refresh yourself on using Auto Archiving in Outlook. The next section in the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box covers the Deleted Items folder. You can click the Empty button to delete any items contained in your Deleted Items folder. You can click the View Deleted Item Size button to open a pop-up folder size window. This window will list the size of the files contained locally in your Deleted Items folder and items stored on the server in the Deleted Items folder. This information is split into two tabs, Local Data and Server Data. The final section of the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box is the Conflicts section. The Conflicts folder will contain any messages that are duplicates or that conflict with another item in your mailbox. You can view the size of the Conflicts folder by clicking the View Conflict Size button. That will open the Folder Size window. The information in this window is separated into a Local Data and Server Data section. You can empty the Conflicts folder from the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box by clicking the Delete button. Any items in your Conflicts folder will then be deleted. When working within your Mail folder, note that there's also a Clean Up button that appears in the Delete button group of the Home tab in the ribbon. Clicking this button opens a drop-down menu that contains the options Clean Up Conversation, Clean Up Folder, and Clean Up Folders and Subfolders. The Clean Up Conversation option will delete duplicate messages within the selected conversation within the mailbox. This means that it will remove redundant information so that the conversation will only contain new information from each person involved. This will shrink the size of the conversation and free up valuable storage space. Duplicate messages within a conversation will be moved to the Deleted Items folder where they can be manually purged. The Clean Up Folder and Clean Up Folder and Subfolders options will remove duplicate messages within the selected folder and any subfolders that may exist. This again is helpful if you have many messages that contain the same information. Any items removed from folders this way will also be sent to the Deleted Items folder. Choosing any of the options under the Clean Up button will open a pop-up window. You can adjust the settings for the Clean Up action by clicking the Settings button. This will open the Outlook Options dialog box. Scroll down to the Conversation Cleanup section to adjust any of the settings if necessary. 
Click the OK button within the Outlook Options window to apply any changes to the settings you made if needed and to return to the Cleanup dialog box. Run the cleanup by clicking the Cleanup or Cleanup Folder button. To cancel the cleanup instead, you can simply click the Cancel button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.